Hi guys, welcome back to The Average. Today we're going to be drawing on a Nava book and this is one of my favourite books that I've read and I really, really like this book so it was always a difficult choice for me to paint on this. I know that the cover kind of resembles the actual book cover anyway so it's not that bad of a book cover. I just think like I, you know, as we say on this channel, we hate movie covers on books because I think it's just kind of a cash grab and it kind of takes away something. I like to think of films and books as separate entities of the same strand, if that makes sense to anybody but me. Lots of people agree, lots of people don't agree. So if you're one of those people who don't like me painting on books, just go away. <laughs> it's that simple. Okay, so we're painting on The Hate You Give today and yes, like I said, it's one of my favourite books. I think it's really well written. It has a really strong distinctive style and voice and I really appreciate that. Like The character driven story is something that I really appreciate and it's a really good book. It's really interesting and yeah, like I said, it's really well written. What happens in the book is we follow the main character, Star Carter, it's all from her perspective and she witnesses um, her friend being shot by a police officer which is a very poignant subject matter. It talks a lot about society and, and race issues in America and I think it's really well done. I obviously can't really say much on the subject matter except for what I've read in this book and what I know generally in the news and stuff but I've never witnessed or experienced anything like this myself obviously so it's good to read this and kind of get a perspective on it and yeah it's a really good book so I like I said I'm apprehensive and I'm a bit worried to draw on it this copy is a little beat up so I think what I want to do is because I want to do a kind of realistic portrait of Star that I think I'm gonna paint on a different sheet of paper and stick it on. Now I've done this before for a couple of books I painted over so I think it's fine. I think it works well because if I want to do watercolour or like watered down gouache then I can't really do it on this cover so I think what I'm going to do is do it this way but it's kind of the same thing. I also think if I mess it up I can just peel it off as well so there we go there's a little bonus for, for the fear that I feel for painting on this one. So I started to approach this like any of a painting that I would do where I did some preliminary work, I did some thumbnails and things in my sketchbook and then I took it over to this piece of paper and kind of re-sketched it out and designed it, yeah, just uh, penciled everything out before I started to paint over with the gouache. The gouache is kind of old and crusty now, <laughs> that's the update on that, It's it, it still works but it's not as good as it was when I first got it, it works more well as a watercolour but it's still quite opaque when I layer it down so it's still pretty good. I've had it for you know a few months now so it's going strong and I'm pretty pleased with it still so I think once I run out of this I'll probably order some more. And then yeah I just went in and I sort of treated it as a watercolour painting rather than gouache and I really enjoyed this process because I wanted to be a little bit experimental with my style and just have kind of an emotional connection with this picture because this book is so meaningful and when I read it, it it just meant a lot to me. I don't like not because of any connection that I would have with the subject matter, obviously, but just because it was so emotionally strong and poignant and well written that I just felt like I really wanted to do a good job with this paint over, so I was very intimidated at first and as I was getting into it I was really just trying to let go and be loose and try to have kind of a loose expressive style and try to emote a lot of feeling from the character towards us. I had this idea of having her in the foreground and just facing the audience and then maybe a crowd of protesters behind her all holding candles signifying a lost life or just you know the protest that they're on or a march or something. Um, this doesn't really necessarily happen in the book, but I think I read that with book covers, it's a good idea to be more abstract with them than actually portraying a scene that happens in the book because you don't want to give too much away and you just want to hint at what the book might be about. So that's kind of something that I try to follow when I do my book cover paint overs because I want to act like as if oh, this is going to be a cover that would be on a book in a shop. Like, I don't know why, I just have that in my mind, like, as I'm going, as if I want to portray, I want to represent what this book is about. And I hope I get it, did a good job here. I, I really like this idea of just hands behind her, like, no faces or anything, as if it's sort of a fantastical place as well, like, this 
darkness surrounding her and then just the lights and people hopefully sending a sort of powerful message and yeah like I said I was intimidated and I think that the idea that I had works well if I can say that and I think I think in the end I really like the way the painting came out and once I sort of loosened up with the imagery and painting and relaxed a little bit and enjoyed what I was doing then that's when I really started to connect with the piece and it just started to make sense and it started to feel like it looked good to me and I just yeah I overall I think that when you're intimidated by something it can be the pressure can weigh you down to the point where you don't really want to do it and if you're constantly thinking these negative thoughts as you're drawing or painting then it's going to show in the picture so I just popped on like a podcast and was listening to that and listening to music and stuff and trying not to think too much about like how I'm going to show this picture to everyone because um, I don't know if you guys follow my YouTube a lot but I mean if you're new here I do a lot of these book paint overs and sometimes I get really bad negative reactions and usually I don't really mind that much and sometimes it does get to me a little bit but usually I'm like no it's fine whatever you know people are always gonna have negative opinions about you that you can't help that but then when I approached this book I was like oh this is such a meaningful book and it has a really powerful message and so I didn't want to offend anybody and I think people see it, me painting on books as if I'm taking ownership of a piece of work but I'm only painting over something that I own and I'm only expressing my opinions and my thoughts through art so if somebody is offended by that it's kind of like well you can have that feeling and you can take that with you but you can't put that on me because that's nothing to do with me like this is my my work and yeah so I was a little bit intimidated like I said but I think overall I really like the way that it's turned out and it really surprised me because I thought I thought it was going to be a mess because of the way the pressure that I was feeling and I'm trying not to let things get to me and yeah they're not really to be fair like I think I just had a couple of moments when I was like you know what screw you <laughs> I don't care what you think about my book paint overs but yeah so if you enjoyed this paint over I have a lot more other paint overs that you can go and look at maybe I think a lot of you found me through my book paint overs anyway so I'm not gonna stop doing them and I really enjoyed this one so there we go that's it I read the books and then I paint over them and I think it's a really good way to discuss books and art as a whole and that's something that I really enjoy. I enjoy reading, writing and creating art and doing comics and stuff which you could argue is a juxtaposition of visuals and written words. For me it makes sense to make my channel all about this stuff. That's why I do this kind of thing and I really enjoyed this one and I hope that you did too. Okay guys, that's it. That's the final paint over. I hope that you liked it. This is how it looks now with it on the cover. And I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. And yeah. Um, some people ask me why I don't paint the spine. Okay, what I do is I, I do the cover as if it's like an piece of artwork and then if I want to know what the book is I'll see, look at the spine and I can just see it. And I think that kind of works separate to what this is. I don't know. I I think that doesn't really explain very much but yeah that's the final paint over I hope that you guys like it and let me know what you think and yeah I'm happy with this result so okay I will see you guys next time bye